It's time on the Young Turks to keep it real, as we always do. So uh, we had asked earlier in the week, Richard, for uh, people to go and help in getting a resolution passed in California. Now, you know we're for a constitutional amendment, and we have Wolf PAC, and that's a super PAC meant to get that amendment to get money out of politics, right? So it's basically a super PAC that fights all the other super PACs, right? And there was a great resolution. There was two really good ones actually in California, what they call AJR 22, which was, hey, we're in favor of a constitutional amendment. That passed uh, through the Judiciary Committee. Everybody's in favor of that. That's terrific news. But specifically, what we want is to call for a constitutional convention because we think that no matter how much the states ask Washington for an amendment, they're not going to get one because Washington is totally corrupt. They're never going to pass the amendment. But you can do it through the states, through real action, through a constitutional convention. Okay, So that was called AJR 32 in California. It was a proposed by a, a three great assemblymen, and we talked about it here. So it went to the Judiciary Committee. That would be the first step in getting it to the overall assembly. Fail. We lost. Sad day for America. Okay, now, it, you would think, and the vote was 6-3, right? So that's, no question that's discouraging, and we got a lot of you guys I know went there. You know, I got reports that there's a lot of people in Young Turks t-shirts here at this hearing, right? Excellent. So that's great, and I know a lot of you uh, called in, emailed in, and, and, and I know for a fact that all the committee members' uh, voicemails over the uh, weekend were full. Every single one was full and wasn't taking messages anymore because we loaded them up, okay? So you did a great job with it, we lost anyway, which happens in politics. Now this was a real first attempt at getting this passed through a state legislature. So that would be the first action, not like, hey, we're in favor, kind of, maybe, wouldn't it be great if someone else did it. But overall, the good news I get out of this is after we went through this process, I actually feel encouraged. And, and look, it's not because it's false hope or anything like that. I get that we lost them, by the way, we can't bring it back up until the beginning of 2013, so that sucks, right, in California. But I realize, you know, as I look at the process now, and I understand the process better at the local state level, right? Okay, so we lost 6-3, there's four other Democrats there, all you gotta do is flip two of them. And they had a legitimate concern, which was, hey, can a constitutional convention get out of hand? And I can address that concern, it's no problem at all. One, you can call for a limited convention, so it's only on that issue. And number two, don't worry because it, 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 whatever makes it out of a constitutional convention, three quarters of the states have to ratify anything anyway. So if you had some crazy pro-life amendment, there's no way you can get three quarters of the states to ratify. If you had a crazy liberal amendment, there's no way you can get three quarters of the states to ratify. The only thing we all agree on is get money out of politics. Conservatives and liberals should agree to that. So I want to give a shout out to the heroes that voted for, with us, Wachowski, Monning, and Atkins. I, you know, they were assemblymen in California. They did a terrific job. Now we've got to work on Huber, Dickinson, Wagner, and Foyer, who are not bad people. They voted the right way on the amendment overall, but now we've got to get them to vote for the convention so we can actually get it done. And we're going to work on that. We're going to come back. And I've learned a ton from this process, and I can't wait to get to the next state level where we have yet another chance at these committees. And I think that, let me just give you one last insight into that. There's on, in 20 different states right now, there are Wolfpack members who have gotten together and drawn up political maps. So what does that mean, right? It's really interesting. What they do is they uh, say, okay, here's our allies in the state. They make calls and say, are you with us or against us? And they make a list of people who are friendly to this idea of the constitutional amendment and doing it through a convention, people who are against us, and who are our allies in the state? What other progressive groups? So there's a real roadmap to victory. And to me, Richard, my final thought on it is, if I can see the road map, if I can see the road, I can get to the end. I know it, I know it, I know it. And after this process, the first time we went through it, that's why I feel like, oh, I see it, it's right there. All we gotta do is this, this, and this, and we win. And you know, it's like Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. This is a topic, this is something people want. This is not a crazy idea. This is something most of the people want. We just have to not give up and keep fighting. And if California goes this way, it's going to send shock waves all across the country. Absolutely. And look, 80% of the American people are against Citizens United. So you know it's actually bipartisan. So the next step is in Connecticut, actually. Uh, so New Haven Board of Aldermen uh, on the Human Services Committee are meeting. Now look, 
if you're in Kentucky, don't drive there, <laughs> okay? And, and this is not something that where it's actually a state level that actually leads to the convention. It's another resolution saying, hey, we're on your side. But we'll take all of those, right? So if you're in Connecticut and you could make it to New Haven, there's a meeting at 6.15 p.m. Wednesday, May 9th. It's in City Hall at 165 Church Street in New Haven, Connecticut. Look, anytime we get support anywhere, and get those votes in our favor. That is momentum. Because already we've had some momentum in Connecticut and it would make the state house in Connecticut much more likely to move forward. So by all means, and you can find out the specifics at wolf-pack.com, wolf-pack.com. Join up there and uh, let's go to New Haven next. And as Howard Dean famously said, we're going to Washington, we're going to Connecticut, we're going to California. We're going to go to all of them, okay? And in the end, we will win because we are too strong.